manifestation, that buzzword flooding social media feeds and self-help books. But what most people don't realise is there's groundbreaking neuroscience showing how our brains literally shape reality through something called the reticular activating system. That's fascinating. I've heard so many conflicting things about manifestation. What does the science actually tell us? Well, imagine your brain as Grand Central Station during rush hour. The RAS acts like this incredible traffic controller, filtering through millions of pieces of information to decide what actually reaches your conscious awareness. So that explains why when you're thinking about buying a specific car, you suddenly notice that model everywhere? Exactly. And here's where it gets really interesting. Studies show that this filtering system can be deliberately programmed. When you focus intensely on specific goals or outcomes, your RAS starts highlighting opportunities and resources that were always there but previously filtered out. That's quite different from the usual, just visualize and it will happen, approach we hear about. Right, and this is where neuroplasticity comes in. Research shows our brains physically rewire themselves based on repeated thoughts and actions. It's like creating new neural highways, the more you travel them, the stronger they become. How long does it typically take for these new neural pathways to form? Studies suggest it takes anywhere from 21 to 66 days of consistent practice to form new neural patterns. But here's the fascinating part. Quantum physics actually supports some of these manifestation principles through the observer effect. Hold on, you're saying quantum physics relates to manifestation? How does that work? At the quantum level, particles behave differently when observed. This suggests consciousness itself can influence physical reality. But it's not some magical process. It's about how our focused attention creates measurable changes in our environment. That's mind-bending. What are the practical implications? Recent research in cognitive psychology shows that when we experience cognitive dissonance, that uncomfortable feeling when our beliefs don't match our actions, it can actually trigger biochemical changes that affect decision-making and behaviour. So how do we bridge that gap between what we want and what we believe is possible? Studies from Harvard Business School show that people who act as if they already have their desired outcome are 63% more likely to achieve their goals. It's about creating what psychologists call behavioural congruence. That makes sense. It's like creating evidence for your brain to believe in the new reality. Exactly. And here's something fascinating. Research shows that our brains can't actually distinguish between a vividly imagined experience and a real one. Both create similar neural activation patterns. That's incredible. But why isn't this information more widely known? Well, there's compelling data showing how maintaining a scarcity mindset actually drives consumer behaviour. The average person sees over 5,000 advertisements daily, most playing on fears and inadequacies. So what's the solution? How do we break free from these patterns? Recent studies in behavioural psychology suggest a three-step approach. Identity shifting, environmental design and what researchers call micro-wins. When combined, these strategies show a 78% higher success rate in achieving major life changes. Could you break down how that works in practice? Think of it like this. Instead of trying to achieve success, you start making decisions as if you were already successful. Research shows this identity-based approach is 2.5 times more effective than goal-based approaches alone. That's really interesting. What other practical steps can people take? Studies show that carefully curating your environment can increase goal achievement by up to 300%. This includes everything from the people you spend time with to the physical spaces you occupy. Your brain is constantly taking cues from your surroundings. These are such actionable insights. Any final thoughts on making manifestation work? The key finding across multiple studies is this. Manifestation isn't about magical thinking. It's about aligning your neural pathways, quantum attention and behavioural patterns with your desired outcomes. When you understand the science, you can approach it systematically rather than superstitiously. That really puts everything into perspective. It's empowering to know the solid research behind these concepts. Exactly. And remember, while the average person makes 35,000 decisions daily, research shows that only about 120 of those are truly conscious choices. 
By understanding these principles, we can make those choices count toward creating our desired reality.